At the nip and tuck, it's the penultimate day, and the pressure's on. Today's going to be a busy day. Juan cut these rings out on his burn table. We're going to put these in here to slow that water and material that was shooting out the end of the trommel. We get that material going down the sluice box where it's supposed to go. Oh, man, my back hurts today. Oh, I'm an old man. Before fitting the baffles, Juan needs to smooth the inside of the trommel to ensure a snug fit. Freddy pushes forward on the new sluice. These are call them ribs for the sluice box to make it stronger. Just grinding them up so they'll weld a bit easier. You mind if I have a look at what you're up to here? Oh, building that new sluice box for your fine gold. Oh, damn, look at that. Oh, man. So it's flat. See the ribs around it, cradle it, hold it together. Oh, it's beefy. Oh, man. Oh, that is more skookum than anything I ever had. One fits the baffles that will slow the water flow and divert the fine gold into the new sluice Freddy is finishing. Damn. Look at that. <laughs> right on my head. Look how much fun he's having. How could I take that away from him? <laughs> All right, we got the machine here, so hopefully that can help get that up there. Steve's borrowed a smaller excavator to bring in the new sluice. Don't bend it. Don't dent it. <laughs> Don't bend it. Straight back. Whoa. Oh, you put a dent in it. Don't bend it, he said. Right, good. Down. All right, that should be good. Perfect, guys, thank you. You good with it? Yeah, it's uno, tres, cuatro. Pa' abajo un poquillo. Huh? So we come up with the jacks now. I like it. We're good. This is the most skookum sluice box that has ever graced the steps of the Nipitak gold mine. Oh my goodness sakes. I can't wait to see it with a mat in it, some expanded metal, fine gold spilling all through there. To adjust the pitch of the new fine gold sluice and control water flow and pay dirt, Freddie and Juan have a cheap but effective hack. We got the new sluice box in place. We're getting it set up right now. We're getting the right pitch on it. What we did was Freddie actually got these two little bottle jacks, welded them onto a plate, and we're going to use that as our adjustment. We can adjust the pitch or adjust the sluice side to side with it to get it perfectly level and the pitch that we want on it. You know, it's kind of a cool idea. It's something cheap. $30 worth of material. And, and look at that. It's perfect. We can adjust it however we want it. Look, it's dead nuts level. Both sluice runs will need to be cleaned before the final run. Get some water through there to get that steel pushed out. Or it's all going to be in your cleanup. That's all right. It's, it's gonna not be as a heavy lot as gold. It's going to be a oh. lot of. Steel. Just clean the damn sluice. Yeah. You're going to have micro pieces of steel all over the in there. gold's heavier. I believe I mentioned he is a little hard-headed. Um, you know, Freddy knows the most, in my opinion. Uh, Steve's going to have to understand that, and I think he's coming to terms with it. Oh, I'll clean it out. I'll clean it out. <laughs> 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 What's Steve worried about? I don't know. After loading one bucket of pay, Steve has second thoughts. I'm just going to crank it up a little bit, the trommel motor, because I think with the weight, when I get weight in it, it helps slow it down a little bit, so. OK, it's your motor, you runner. Is he turning it up? I'd almost say turn it down more. Me too. It's his baby, though. Because it's worked well for him. Yeah. <laughs> Something's not right. It's smoking. At the Nip and Tuck mine, the crucial final test has ground to a halt. He's had an issue with his trommel, so I'm going to shut the pumps down for now. The motor just stopped 
suddenly. We that aren't was sure why. Are you sure it wasn't steam coming off of here? It might have been. I just walked up to it and saw it right away. And... There you go. You got oil in it? Dude, it had oil. It was a brand new motor. I think it's the belt. I think it's the belt is stretching. There's so much weight on it. We'll try it again, see what happens. Steve restarts the plant, but dials it back to the original speed. There's more water, there's more rocks. It seems like the belt might be stretching out a little bit, the, the fan belt. We do have a spare, so I'm a little not on edge, but I'm just running around making sure that all these little tweaks get made. If, if that trommel's not turning, there's no gold coming out at all. They've lost 10 minutes, but the run is back on. If there is fine gold, it should be dropping through one slits and catching in the new sluice. Bigger nuggets can still come through the two-inch punch plate and collect in Steve's old sluice. Those sluices are both running extremely well. And we've got those slit cuts for the finer gold and the smaller pieces. Now they don't have to compete with those big ass rocks going down that other sluice box. I know we've improved this gold recovery. How much, I don't know, but we'll find out soon. When Freddie and Juan first arrived, the rocks coming out of the end of the trommel were covered in mud, holding fine gold. Check that out, Freddie. It's a lot cleaner. I mean, a lot cleaner. I'm happy with that. Juan's baffles have slowed the water enough to clean the gold off the rocks. Freddie, look at that. None of these are, are smaller than two inches. Yep. So everything two inches smaller is making it to the sluice run. I'm happy nice. with that. Yeah. I'm happy with that. It's awesome. After four hours. Hey, Steve, last bucket, last one. They call time on the final run. Hey, Steve. Hey, so what do you think? See this? anything in there? Uh, this box this is running good. awesome. Yeah, oh, look at all, oh, yeah. yeah. Those riffles are doing exactly what they're supposed to. Yeah. They're running Beautiful. Good. You know that if there's any great big nuggets, they're gonna they're fall gonna... right in off the, probably be in the top mat there. Yeah. Now you actually have the chance of catching that 35 ounce nugget you've been bragging about. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't know what to say, guys. It looks good, I'm happy about it. What we need to do is clean it up now and, and see what we got. Yeah, let's yeah, pull let's... the mats, huh? Natural hammer. Now we're getting ready to pull the carpets out to see what we got. I mean, you're not seeing much in there, but if a sluice is working properly, you don't want to see it because if it's on top and you can see it, it can get away from you. Uh, hey, Steve, have a look at this. What do you got there? Now, this is one pan size. Just one pan. pan. No kidding. And look at all that fine. Oh, my goodness sakes. Oh, my goodness sakes. Look at that. Easy. Whoa. Spill it. Oh, oh. <laughs> But look at all the fine gold. It's oh, really what you want it. to look yeah, at. Yeah, look at it. Oh, man, oh, man. Look at that. Nice, nice. A little tiny, tiny, tiny little bits. That's pretty good. Absolutely. Lots of real small stuff. That's got to be there. exciting, huh? I'm excited now, Wano. Looks good. Yeah, me too. Yeah. After five days, it's time to find out if Freddie and Juan's fixes have worked. Well, guys, moment of truth, huh? Run. Time for the weigh in. The first test run weighed 0.13 of an ounce. Freddie and Juan promised Steve an increase of at least 15%, which means this gold weigh needs to be around 0.15 of an ounce. Here it is. OK. Look at that, 0 0.22. 0 0.22. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Proud of that, buddy. Yeah, me too. That's awesome. Wow, That's I cannot believe that, guys. <laughs> And look at all the fine gold in there, too. Damn. There you know, is fine gold when here. When we were talking originally, guys, we promised you 15% is what we would do. <laughs> oh, you That's quite more a bit more than 15%. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's way more. A massive increase of 70%. I knew I was losing gold, but I never knew it was that much. Oh, my goodness sakes, what a difference this is going to make. The changes we've done this week, you know, hopefully that puts you on a path where you can buy that piece of property and build yourself a house on it. In a full day's running, with Freddie and Juan's 70% increase, Steve should now mine around $1,000. That's over an ounce every two days. If the weather holds, it'll be enough to get the 21 ounces he needs to build his dream property.